Hey everyone, what's going on? As always, it's been forever since I made a video, and I'll spare you the reasoning why, but I have a lot of stuff going on. I was trying to finish up that book that I've been talking about, and, you know, I just feel like my life is like the TV show Shameless, but lots of things going on, but... In this video, if you, if, I guess if you've been following along to my blog posts and my videos from, you know, the last time I made a video, I was talking a lot about Charles Manson and how it's also synced up to a Rose theme that is going on. And, you know, there's, there's a bunch of stuff I've talked about with a Rose theme, and it's seemingly pointing to the royal family, and also it's synced up to the moon landing. And... I'll explain a little bit more as we go along, but we just got the death of Sean Connery on Halloween, and if you go back to April 10th, I talked about Sean Connery and how possibly, you know, he's a guy to watch out for this year, because he's synced up to the moon landing. It's the 51st anniversary of the moon landing, the word moon equals 51, and the word rose also equals 51. and what I pointed out back then about Sean Connery was that his birthday is August 25th, which is the same day that Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon, died. And he died in 2012, just after the Batman shooting. He actually died one month and five days after the Batman shooting. And the word moon also equals 15, so it equals 15 and 51. Neil Armstrong dies after the Batman shooting that was on the anniversary of the moon landing. And what else is so interesting about that shooting was that during the previews of that movie, they had a movie of James Bond called Skyfall. And in that preview, it showed a building that said the word Aurora on it. And then after, you know, later that night during that movie, the Aurora, Colorado movie theater supposedly got shot up by a guy named James Egan Holmes. James Egan Holmes equals 86, Aurora Colorado equals 86, Skyfall equals 86. And I'll get to why that's important later on in the video, I think, if I remember to talk about it. Because August 6th of the year 2022, I think, is going to be an important day. Because it's the day that Tisha Bob falls. And it also falls during the year of the Tiger. And it'll be the 53rd anniversary of the moon landing. And Tisha Bob equals 53 at Jabatria. But it was also interesting. I, the reason I pointed out Sean Connery was because not only did he, it's his birthday the same day that Neil Armstrong died. Neil Armstrong died at the age of 82. And Sean Connery, he died on Sean Connery's 82nd birthday. And... In 2017, I really started following the Space Moon theme, and I've talked about how the year 2017 has been important to everything going on in the year 2020 as well. And in the year 2017, we had another James Bond actor named Roger Moore die. And when I was looking up Roger Moore, I found this thing called the Great Moon Hoax that happened on August 25th, which is Sean Connery's birthday of the year 1835. And... It said the discoveries were falsely attributed to John Herschel, which was interesting because we just had John Herschel Glenn die at the end of 2016, and he died on Dwight Howard's birthday. And of course, if you follow my videos forever, I talked about how Dwight Howard was important to this year's NBA season before he was even on the Los Angeles Lakers and how it synced up to Kobe Bryant and the whole season was going to be scripted around Kobe Bryant's Achilles injury. And then, you know, Dwight Howard was on the team, and then he later, he left and joined the Rockets, and Mike D'Antoni was the coach of the Lakers, and he left and later coached the Rockets. Think about Rockets and space and Houston and space and so on, right? But this great moon hoax, John Herschel, John Herschel Glenn, and if you look up the James Bond movies, after the movie Moonraker, the director or producer or whatever it is, can't think what it is right now, but... His name just so happens to be John Glenn, and Moonraker was the only James Bond film where they went to the moon, and it had Roger Moore in it, but there's also one called Diamonds Are Forever with Sean Connery in it, 
where he's in like a buggy and he goes across the movie set where they're filming a movie set on the moon. Right. And it was like kind of a joke because people were saying that the moon landing was staged and so on. It came out in like 1971 after the moon landing. Right. But another thing in regards to like Charles Manson that I'm talking about, the, the Tate murders of Charles Manson, they happened literally less than a month after the moon landing in 1969. And 1969 is also the day that, or the year that Marilyn Manson was born. And Marilyn Manson is synced up to Rose McGowan, who he used to date. He's also synced up to Charles Manson, right? And we've talked about how Charlie Rose was born on Marilyn Manson's birthday, which is also January 5th, 1 slash 5. Or also 5 slash 1, how the word moon equals 51. It's also the day that, oh, uh, Robert Duvall, the guy from Apocalypse Now, was born. And they have the Charlie Don't Surf quote. And then you have Axl Rose of the band Guns N' Roses, who wore the Charlie Manson shirt that said Charlie Don't Surf on it. Of course, the Beach Boys have stole Charlie Manson's song, or they, you know, they have a, they remade Charlie Manson's song on their album called 2020. And think about this year, 2020. Think about George Floyd. Think about Charles Manson's helter-skelter theory about black people rising up. You know, it's this humongous narrative that is going on here. But the Great Moon hoax. Just wanted to point this out. And this is why I thought that Sean Connery was important. Also, you know, his name equals 56, like coronavirus. And... Honor Blackman, who played Pussy Galore, had died on April 5th, and she died 142 days before Sean Connery's birthday, and coronavirus also equals 142. And, I don't know, I just knew that he was important, and then now he is, you know, now he dies on Halloween, that just so happens to be, you know, a blue moon, it's the first blue moon that can be seen all over the world since World War II. Also, you know, think about the name Honor Blackman in regards to all this, right? Honor Blackman. And this was just before George Floyd and, you know, Black Lives Matter really got ramped up and so on. All these protests and everything going on. Honor Blackman. Interesting, too, you know, she was in the movie Goldfinger, the, the James Bond movie Goldfinger. And just a few days before this, on April 7th, I was... So I made a blog post about how I picked up the guitar at home. I hadn't played it in forever. And I started playing the song Feel Like Making Love. And I was associated with the band Goldfinger because they remade the Bad Company song, right? And I just thought it was interesting. And I was telling my girlfriend how the first concert I ever went to was in Sioux City, Iowa. And Weird Al was headlining. And the band Goldfinger opened up, the punk band. And... I even pointed out, feel like making love equals 94, just like Bad Company equals 94. And not even a month later, the lead singer of Bad Company named Brian Howe died. Brian Howe died on May 6th, even. 5-6. After I talk about how the band Goldfinger is important to, you know, pussy galore dying. <laughs> it's just craziness, you know. Then the lead singer of Bad Company dies. But... What's even more interesting with this Sean Connery thing and how it syncs up to the Rose theme. Remember Axel Rose or Donald Trump on May 5th, he, or let me find it here. Donald Trump, he didn't wear a mask at the mask factory in Arizona. And in the background, they had the song Live and Let Die by Guns N' Roses playing, right? It was blaring in the background. It was a big story. Let me see if I can find it if I pulled it up here. Yeah, it was Donald Trump at this mask factory. And the Guns N' Roses song Live and Let Die was playing. And I even pointed out then that, you know, it's a play. It's It comes from the James Bond film called Live and Let Die. We just had the death of Pussy Galore. Guns and Roses equals 56, just like coronavirus. So I knew there was something important to this, right? Live and let die. But what's even more interesting is if you look up the film Live and Let Die, 
It just so happens to star the first ever African-American Bond girl. And her name is Rosie Carver. Rosie Carver of all names. And even more interesting is the song Live and Let Die. It's actually written by Paul McCartney and the band Wings. And it just so happens to be on their second album. And look what their second album is called. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. <laughs> Red Rose Speedway. Red Rose Speedway. Think about Paul McCartney in regards to Charles Manson as well. The Helter Skelter Theory, Paul McCartney, The Beatle. He even wrote the song Helter Skelter. I mean, the, it's crazy. I don't even know how to... Ex it's inspiring, you know. Red Rose Speedway. Let's look at uh, Rosie Carver and Gematria, too. Well, Gematria, Nater. I'm going to turn on these Francis Bacon ones because they have been absolutely super important recently. But Rosie Carver. Notice Rosie Carver equals 164 in Gematria. Just like how James Bond equals 164 in this Frank Bacona cipher. James Bond also equals 83, like the word rose. The word rose equals 83. But Sean Connery, look at Sean Connery, 164. You know, just like that Bond girl, just like how James Bond equals that. Look at Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig, the newest James Bond guy, 83, 56, 164. You know, could have scripted it any better, you know. Something else I forgot to point out earlier about this Great Moon Hoax, and I didn't know this until just recently. I didn't really read about what it is. But basically, the Great Moon Hoax was this. It was about the disposed, supposed discovery of life and civilization on the moon. And, you know, this is kind of interesting because we just had a story... And the news a few days ago about how they found water on the moon, for sure. There's water on the moon. And I just never noticed the picture until I was reading another picture about it. And it says, Portrait of a Man Bat. From the edition of the Moon series published. So a man bat. And then you literally got these other man bats. Like Batman. Right? Once again, the... The movie Skyfall synced up to the Batman shooting. We got the new Batman movie coming out with Robert Pattinson that's coming out in the year 2022. And, you know, he's important to the film Twilight. And, you know, think about the films that are in that movie, right? There's Twilight Eclipse, Twilight New Moon. What are the other ones? I'm trying to think. thought I put a comment in here. Let me find it here. It's in this post right here, but. Where did I put it? Yeah, he's, I don't even know. New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, Edward from Twilight. It's also synced up to the band Nirvana, and the band Nirvana had the famous feud with the band Guns N' Roses. It's interesting, too, when I noticed that the connection to Nirvana and Guns N' Roses, I had, um, well, there, there's a big story that goes along with this. It's connected to the film Blade Runner, and on this, on that film Blade Runner 2049, they find a horse with the date 61021 on the bottom, which is Prince Philip's birthday, and Philip means lover of horses, and then I went to the bar, and this old friend that I had, he, he randomly came in and sat by, and his name's Phil, and he literally loves horses. Like, the bartender even thanked him for taking care of her horse and whatnot. And I just laughed like crazy in my head. But we left to go to an after party. And he asked me if I've heard the the new song by Chris Cornell that it came out called Patience. It was a remake of Guns N' Roses. And, of course, you know, Chris Cornell was born on the anniversary of the moon landing. This movie, this song came out on the anniversary of the moon landing. Think about Black Hole Sun. 
Also remember Chester Bennington of the band Linkin Park died on Chris Cornell's birthday, just after Chris Cornell died, just before the Great American Eclipse. It was all synced up to the number 218. And, you know, because it was on the date of 21 slash 8, think about Donald Trump and his presidential alert that was at 218 and Trump in all capital letters equals 218 and a bunch more, right? This is another number we've talked about that's important in regards to this. So, you know, it's definitely synced up to the moon still. It's also interesting just to note that if you go from the moon landing anniversary to Valentine's Day, it's a span of 210 days. And this is interesting because in this English extended cipher, let me pull it up really quick. The word moon equals 210. English extended. It equals 210. And the reason that I know that I'm supposed to pay attention to this cipher is because the other night I had this uh, crazy synchronicity. Because I have to drive my girlfriend's brother to work five days a week. And he works like 45 minutes away, which obviously you can see why it takes up some time. Because for some reason he can't go get a license. And he's, but he'll buy a new car and also they're junk. It's ridiculous, but not to get on a tangent here, but I had this crazy synchronicity driving him to work. And let me find it here. It was all to do with Helter Skelter and whatnot. It's, I, I, I don't know how to, to fully describe it, but there's, there's more to it. But basically I got a comment or I, I noticed this thing from an old friend on Facebook or whatever. And he shared one of our music videos. And apparently I spelled his name right wrong because I didn't put a capital C there. And the person Tommy Brown is spelled T-O-M-M-I-E. Well, I don't, I don't know. I've never met the guy, so I didn't know. I just put it on Facebook or YouTube when I found it and whatever. And there's this big, long moral of the story thing with him and number 224. And he got mad about me posting a post about his, his with his kid's name and gematria on my blog. And I took it down. But what's funny is the whole post was about the number 224 and how the comedian Mitch Hedberg was... He was born on the date of 224, and YouTube gave me a copyright strike on, on a video two months and 24 days before 224. And then exactly 224 days later, my friend messages me telling me that I need to take the blog post down and whatnot. So, you know, it was all about 224, Ed. What was funny is when I saw this post, I looked at when the video came out, and I put it out on the date of 318, which was... 142 days, I noticed this, 142 days before that date, and Charles Manson equals 142, and what's so interesting about this song is the guy named Tommy Brown actually sings about Helter Skelter in this song, and I, I feel like that was the first time I ever even knew what Helter Skelter was, because I looked it up after that, because I didn't know that, I don't know, I didn't know that much about Charles Manson, whatever, at the time, and this was from years ago, right, so it's just funny that he men mentioned that, and... Yeah, it was 142 days, and I knew that was important to Charles Manson, and I looked up their birthdays and their birthdays, Tommy Brown and my friends, five months of 25 days apart, which Helter Skelter Theory equals 525, that's why George Floyd was important, and he got killed on 525, five months of 25 days before the anniversary of Charles Manson dying, and so on, and anyway, I dropped my, my girlfriend's brother off at work at Menards, and... Oh, I, I can't remember. I went. I wanted to buy. I wanted to get some shooters of Fireball or something for the ride home. And I went to the gas station across the street called Loves, or a truck stop or whatever it is. And I got to the door and it said you have to wear a stupid mask to go in. So I went back to get one out of the car. And when I went to look, this was sitting right by my tire. It's like a McDonald's receipt with a number one ninety four on it. And of course, Charles Manson and the Francis Bacon ciphers equals 194. This is humongous number that I've been talking about. Even the death of Eddie Van Halen, like Zenith was talking about, what? He was talking about the connection between Charlie and Rose and how Rose stalks Charlie on the show Two and a Half Men. 
And then we got the death of that Conchata, whatever her name is, the, the fatter lady on Two and a Half Men and so on. And that's synced up to the keypad cipher and a bunch of other things, but lose my train of thought here. Oh, but we also have the death of Eddie Van Halen. And Eddie Van Halen is interesting because Van Halen's from, what is it, Pasadena, California, right? With the city of, or, you know, they have the Rose Bowl and the Rose Parade and all that, right? I can't remember if it's called Rose City or something like that. But he's even more important because Bobby Simpson had pointed out in, before Tisha Bob in 2019, that was all synced up to the the Chinese pig year and to the third temple and a bunch of other things. He had pointed out that the Van Halen song called hot for teacher was the Van Halen song hot for teacher on, on the chalkboard in that video. If you use Gematria, it says, Holy shit on the chalkboard. If you change the numbers to letters and I pointed out that on the South park ginger cow episode, that's about, you know, the third temple, basically, that the ginger cow is a prophecy is important to the third temple being built. On the South Park Ginger Cow episode, the song Hot for Teacher by, by Van Halen is actually played on there. And Tisha Bob that year, it began on August 10th, 810, and it went into the date of August 11th. And if you look up Eddie Van Halen, he died eight months and ten days after his birthday, or eight months and eleven days, a span of, right? 810, and so on. And would you believe... In Gematria, if you type out ginger cow, ginger cow just so happens to equal 194 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. And so does hot for teacher. Hot for teacher equals 194 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. So, you know, even Eddie Van Halen, he's synced up to this somehow. Did Eddie Van Halen, didn't he die of throat cancer too? Let me look it up really quick. Eddie Van Halen. Let's say on here. Death. It doesn't say why. Hold on. Let me find it. I guess I'll look it up later. I don't know. I can't read that fast right now, but. Yeah, tongue cancer. Okay. Well, it's just interesting because I'm thinking about the song Kiss from the Rose by Seal that's on the Batman movie. And, you know, the Batman in that movie is Val Kilmer, who had throat cancer. You know, I just wonder if there's something important to Val Kilmer with it all. It's also the, the Batman movie where they use Gematria, right? The Riddler uses Gematria, and they, Batman figures it out. But he's coding letters into numbers. But... Anyway, moral of the story, I had all that synchronicity, and when I looked up my girlfriend's bro brother in Gematria, I noticed that in the English Extended Cipher, his name equaled 194. And I was like, what are the odds? You know, I was like, I don't like using a whole bunch of different ciphers, but I know that I should pay attention to this one now, because it's synced up to that 194, right? So, that's why I know that moon is important. Moon equals 210 in this cipher. You know, he was showing me, that synchronicity was showing me to pay attention to the cipher. And of course, you know, Sean Connery dies, support to the moon. Sean Connery just so happened to die 210 days after Pussy Galore. He died on the 210th day after she died. It's interesting too, his name equals 86, right? Like the Batman stuff. And it also equals 170, and I know the moon equals 170 in Jewish Gematria too, so... It's pretty interesting. He's got an interesting... Everybody else calls him Mike Cole, but I call him Michael. That's how I've always known him. And uh, his uh, dad is also named Mike. I call his dad Mike and him Michael. So... <laughs> there, there's so much more to going on with this because I had another friend from right here asking me about the numbers 37 and 73 like the next day after the synchronicity happened. And I didn't, even, I didn't even put this together, that it was his name equaled 37 and 73. You know, I don't ever call him that, though, but it's still interesting. 37, 73. And it's even more interesting because when I uh, 
let me find my new post here. But what I told the friend about 37 and 73 was that it reminds me of the Big Bang Theory, right? Because Sheldon says that his favorite number is 73 because the 21st prime is 73 and the 12th prime number is 37. So they're reflections of each other and so on, right? But uh, it's just funny because I have a post about the number 73 and 37 and how it syncs up to uh, Sheldon and the Big Bang Theory. And it just so happens that I talked about a James Bond occurrence because I learned some stuff about the Bible. Even though I looked it up and it didn't make sense because the Gematria didn't make sense to what they said. But the person who told me about the number 73 and 37 in the Bible and so on, their name was like something like 007 something, right? So another James Bond thing. So it's just interesting that the next day I'd have a friend ask me about 3773. I have a post about James Bond and connection to the Big Bang Theory, which is what I told him about. And then we get the death of Sean Connery right afterward, you know. But Sean Connery died 210 days after Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore equals 210. The word moon equals 210. Mike Cole also equals 143. Oh, I wrote four. Oh, and 420 in Francis Bacon, and his birthday is 143 days, or also four months and 20 days after the moon landing anniversary. Plus, I just documented about a bunch of stuff about the tiger theme, and if you recall, the International Tiger Day in 2020 was the same day as Tisha B'Av, and the word tiger equals 201, and the moon landing was on the 201st day of the year. And Buzz Aldrin's birthday is 20 slash 1, and Neil Armstrong's name equals 201. And the word Apollo equals 201. It was Apollo 11 that first landed on the moon. We just entered the 11th month as well, which is interesting, right? And think about Guns N' Roses and the song November Rain, which Donald Trump says is the greatest music video of all time. Donald Trump not wearing the mask. And, you know, at the live and with live and let die playing in the background. Remember, Donald Trump also got coronavirus. And he just so happened to, after that happened, they, they started talking about the Amy Coney Barrett thing and how it was the Rose Garden Massacre. The Rose Garden Massacre. Oh. Also, Sean Connery and that English extended cipher equals. 1,114, which, as a date, it reminds me a lot of Prince Charles, whose birthday is on November 14th. And if you remember in 2016, it was right when I, it was right after Prince Charles's birthday when I started talking about how there was a major space theme going on and how it was synced up to Neil Armstrong and Eugene Cernan, because he's the last guy to walk on the moon. Then, like, two weeks later, John Glenn died, and Buzz Aldrin was hospitalized in New Zealand. And then in January that year, January 26th, I believe it was, or can't remember the exact date, but Eugene Cernan died, right? The first guy to walk, or the last guy to walk on the moon and so on. But Prince Charles' birthday was right after the election in 2016, and it was also the day that the closest supermoon since the year 1948 had happened. And that was important to Donald Trump because Trump equals 48. And it was considered the biggest election upset since 1948 when Harry S. Truman upset Thomas E. Dewey and so on, right? The word wall equals 48. He, they announced he won the election on the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down, which is November 9th, which is also interesting because the James Bond film Skyfall just so happened to come out on November 9th, I'm pretty sure, in the United States. It's 143 minutes, too. That's funny. November 9th, 2012. Think about November 9th. That can also be written as 9 slash 11. That day is also interesting because the French Revolution came to an end on this day. And remember, Napoleon was important to Donald Trump saying he was Batman in a helicopter on Napoleon's birthday. And, you know, he didn't wear the mask at that company on May 5th. So, 
Interesting. A lot of a lot of stuff going on in France lately in the news too. Anyway, my kid's waking up, so I got. I'm trying to finish this video up here, but in regards to Prince Charles too, Diana's the goddess of the moon, right? And earlier this year, we had a story about oh, uh, Kristen Stewart, right? The girl from Twilight, and how she's going to portray Princess Diana in a film called Spencer. An upcoming film in that. Can't remember what it was. Her birthday is like 219 days before Prince Charles's birthday, and Princess Diana equals 219, and Charlie Manson equals 219. 219 is also the day that Prince Andrew was born. Think about Prince Andrew, Jeffrey Epstein, and so on, right? Prince Andrew equals 194, and Gematria. And. There's all kinds of interesting things going on with that. Especially when you consider Aurora and the Batman shooting. You know, Aurora is the goddess of the dawn. And think about what twilight is, right? Dawn is the beginning of twilight before the sun rises, right? So, <laughs> there's something very important to it. I don't understand it all, but Aurora, the goddess of the dawn. Diana, the goddess of the moon. You also got the film Twilight that seems important, and, you know, it's all related. Aurora, Twilight, the moon. Earlier on, I mentioned Chester Bennington, too, dying on the anniversary of the moon landing. Remember there was a gangster shooting right around the time that he died, and also the guy from Home Alone had died, and I pointed out how I thought it was synced up to the... the uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre in Chicago. And then on Valentine's Day in 2018, we had the Stoneman Douglas shooting, right? That was, you know, Lincoln Park is where the original St. Valentine's Day Massacre happened. And we supposed to get Stoneman Douglas on Valentine's Day, right after the Eagles are in the Super Bowl. It's the Stoneman Douglas Eagles. There's also the Falcon Heavy launch and the stock market crash and a bunch of other things. But that's why I think it's interesting. It's 210 days. After the moon landing, right? When the word moon equals 210, but Daniel Craig also equals 214. And there was supposed to be a new James Bond movie coming out in 2020 called No Time to Die on 331. And if you go to the day that Sean Connery died, it's also 214 days. So it's interesting, you know, in regards to Valentine's. It's always, that day always seems important. It's over Lupercalia, Valentine's Love, it's been synced up to Michael Jordan, but let me see if I can try to find it. Oh yeah, Sean Connery is also in a movie called The Name of the Rose, and it's just interesting because in that movie he's a Franciscan priest, and we've talked a lot about how this year, and also 2017, the year I was talking about the space theme was really synced up to the Jesuits. It was all everything to do with the Jesuits, right? Space, the Jesuits. This year, same thing. Space, the Jesuits. So interesting, he's a Franciscan priest. You know, Pope Francis. Francis of Assisi. And so on. If you look up the guy who wrote this book, or this movie, he wrote the book for the movie. It's this guy, Umberto Eco. And notice his birth, he died on 219, and his birthday is January 5th, which is the same day as Marilyn Manson, the same day as Charlie Rose, the same day as uh, Robert Duvall, died 84, or Jesuits 84, so. It's interesting, Pope Francis is going to be turning 84 years old on December 17th, which, I'm trying to think, 30 47, so we've had 47 days. Hmm, I don't know. 47. Charlotte Manson. It's also interesting, too. Boris Johnson, who looks a lot like Donald Trump, and he's 56 years old, and he's shutting down England again. And Boris Johnson equals 210 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. 
And it's interesting because remember he was hospitalized for coronavirus on the date of 4-5, which is the day that Queen Elizabeth addressed the nation. And she quoted Vera Lynn and it was synced up to World War. And right after, and then Vera Lynn ended up dying in June. And just after that, we got a story about, you know, Kristen Stewart, who's going to portray Princess Diana and whatnot. But the whole point of bringing it up is that Pussy Galore, or Honor Blackman, also died on that same day, four or five. So, I don't know. There's more to think about, but... I wish I had, had more time to do these videos, too, and organize it a little bit better so I could stay in the loop of what I'm talking about here, but it's just, there's so many things that just go on, like, I'm telling you, non-stop. Like, earlier, I was just ran, like, I, I'm just rambling now, but, earlier, I, I just randomly saw this whatever, and then my friend Sam texted me about this person dying, this American Idol person, and no big deal, I just looked it up, I knew it was synced up to Kelly Clarkson who won the uh, American Idol that season, of course, you know, this girl died of a brain aneurysm that equals 191, and she died 191 days after Kelly Clarkson's birthday, she died 30, a span of 35 days before or after her birthday, Catholic 35, Society of Jesus 191. She was 42 years old. She was born in 78, or where Jesuit equals 72, or 42 and 78. She died on 111, which is interesting because it's 46 days before Pope Francis's birthday. Pope Francis's full name equals 111, like the date 111, or 11 1. Catholic 46, the word Jesuit 84. Her name in Francis Bacon equals 312, this number I've talked about with the Jesuits forever. Jorge Mario Bergoglio also equals 312. Synced up to the Korean War, but... Kelly Clarkson equaled 210, so I was like, huh, how interesting, right? And I started just looking more into it, and I noticed that the Nikki McKibben girl, the only song that she's famous for that you can, like, click on, on... Wikipedia is Cry Little Sister, and this weekend I had a DJ for two Halloween parties, and I just randomly thought of this song, and I thought it would be a good song as a Halloween song, right? Cry Little Sister. And then the next day at, at work on Saturday morning, I was even telling a girl I work with how uh, that song, I like that song, and I like the original. I don't like the Zug Island one or the Aiden version as much as I like the original. And so I knew there was something important to that song when I saw Cry Little Sister, and it's also on the movie The Lost Boys. And in 2019, a, a major thing I was talking about was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and then we got the death of Luke Perry, who was in the film Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it was synced up to Corey Feldman, who was defending Michael Jackson, and a bunch more, you know, but it's The Lost Boys, right? Cry Little Sister comes from the movie The Lost Boys, it's about vampires, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Luke Perry, he was defending, he was defending Michael Jackson, think about Neverland Ranch, Peter Pan, The Lost Boys, and so on, right? But The Lost Boys just so happened to come out on the same day as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, something I never noticed before, but this, if you write out Cry Little Sister, it equals 214 and 191. And... I discovered Marilyn Manson also remade this song in 2018, and he made it for this show called The New Mutants that just came out on the same day Chadwick Boseman died, and it was supposed to come out like in 2018, but for some reason it got delayed, but it also came out on a TV show called Titans, right? And there's a character named Rose on that, and I looked her up and... Of course, she's from Pittsburgh, which is interesting. I've been wondering about the Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers and stuff, so it's always a riddle. But one of one of the others probably showing me the other one, you know. So over the years of studying this, but I haven't really don't really care anyway. Just interesting to see how it always all syncs up, you know. But the new Bill and Ted movie came out on that same day too, and it makes me wonder because Ted and 
that movie is also in The Lost Boys. So when I looked up Bill and Ted, of course, it talked about Interstate 210. And I've recently talked about Keanu Reeves and The Matrix, too, on my blog. So lots of, I mean, I have so much synchronicity. If you come read my blog, it's just insane. I guess I don't even remember half of it because it happens so often, but. There's also the Trump train. Bobby said he saw, they went by mile marker 210. I didn't watch the video or anything, but interesting. Plus, you know, Trump trains 51 like moon and Texas is 15 like moon and bus is 21 like moon. Interstate 35, Catholic, JFK killed in Texas. 35th president, but whatever, I'm going to leave it there. You get the gist of what I'm talking about. Synced up to Batman, this Rose theme. I'm trying to figure it all out, you know, let's sync up to James Bond too. Batman, James Bond, Rose, Charles Manson. I'm interested to see what happens on like Charles Manson's birthday and death day. And even maybe, you know, January 5th. I feel like there's probably going to be some important story. That I'm supposed to understand from it, maybe, but or maybe there'll be a big event or something. Wait and see, see what's going on with it. Try to figure this big, the bigger narrative out here. But have a good one, peace.